My name is Denise File, and I am, honestly, I'm a parent. I'm a mom with two, next year will be three kids here at this school. I'm helping to start a garden program here at Kepler Neighborhood School in downtown Fresno. So a school garden, I think, can look very different um, depending on what school you're at. We're in a downtown urban area surrounded by cement. And so we have this little, what is this, a 20 by 15 foot box that we're working with. The kids love coming out here. They love to walk through. I just had a first, the second graders just walked in from recess and they're like, are my onions ready to harvest? And so they love to see things growing and they scream when we talk about worms. Some of them love them, some of them don't. I just had a fifth grade teacher a couple weeks ago ask if I could come in because they were learning about decomposers. And so I brought in a whole plate full of worms. They had flashlights and magnifying glasses. And then we were able to walk back out here and put those worms back into our worm bin because we need them in our garden. And we talked about the benefits of worms in the garden. And they were able to have a tangible place to bring them once they were done learning about decomposers, which is one of their fifth grade science standards. You can teach any standard in a garden. You can teach science standards in a garden. You can teach math standards, not just something that's extra and more work, um, but really enhancing what's already being taught in schools. Being a part of a downtown school here in Fresno, just the lack of fresh fruit, fresh food grocery stores around this area, helping kids to recognize that you can grow your own food you can eat healthy, what even eating healthy is, why it's important, but just kind of opening up the minds of some of these kids who have never even seen cauliflower or broccoli or celery. We harvested huge purple cauliflower. I mean, as big as the kids' heads. It was wild. And then so many kids, I don't want to try it. I don't want to try it. No, I don't want to try it. And then they tried it. And then I heard two moms come and tell me the next week that their kids now are only asking for cauliflower. Can we eat cauliflower? Can you buy cauliflower, mom? The goal eventually would be to have a farm cart that's in, like by the front door of the school. Parents are able to take what's being harvested and what we have extra of. So I just think gardens are a way to get kids outside, to get kids creative juices flowing, to get their hands dirty. As a community, we can do what we can with the resources that we have to be able to bring those things to schools and to kids. And I just think their lives are gonna flourish just in the simple aspect of a school garden. Plants can't grow in rocks. Get that out of here. All right, this hole I think is ready. You guys ready?